Now that the temperature is rising, it's only going to get hotter and you really don't want to be turning the oven on or cooking over a hot stove top. That is why Ryan Geiger, owner of Phoenix Vegan Dietitian, she is here this morning. She's going to show us how to make delicious, healthy summer meals without using yep. heat. We love this. Good to have you on Sonoran Living. Yes, thank you so much for having why me. Why is it so important for us living here in Arizona to not use heat when cooking? Yes, that is a great question and we all know it gets over 115 degrees and the last thing we want to do is go in our kitchen, turn the oven on and stand there and just bake with our food. <laughs> so these are some recipes that make it really easy to eat healthy while we're in the heat and inside instead of going out and getting takeout or going out and you know picking things up ordering mm -hmm. in these are some great options so that you can stay healthy in the heat yeah that's right and sometimes going out is not only you said sometimes it can be a little bit unhealthy what you order but it's also expensive so yes. why not cook at home so what recipes have you bought let's start with this one this is yes. beautiful yeah so this is the first recipe they are some spring rolls with a homemade pistachio um, sauce and the spring rolls are great they have a lot of vegetables so you're going to get a lot of fiber there and i also added some tofu too so that mm. it has some um, protein. That's wonderful. And this is, it, you said it's pistachio butter. So how did yes. you make this? Yes. Yeah, so this is homemade pistachio butter and it is so cool how you make it. You just take pistachios like this and throw them in your blender and you just blend it for quite a long time mm -hmm. to be honest, but it's totally worth it. And as you're blending it, you'll just stop and scrape it down so that it can continue to uh, make the do butter. You, do you use oil in this recipe? This oil or this um, recipe does use a little bit of oil in the sauce only, not okay. to make the pistachio butter. All but, right. What um, type did you use? What kind of oil? This is sesame oil and um, it pairs really well with these um, wonderful pistachios because they're a complete protein. So you've got your protein and you've got your fat. So it's amazing Ooh. and fiber as well. I love pistachios. It's nice, it's smooth, it's delicious. And we love these of a little cucumber boats. What yes. did you make here? That's beautiful. They're really fun. This is one of my staple go-to recipes, especially in summer. Light, refreshing, um, super tasty. And you just take a cucumber and cut it in half and then cut it in quarters and then just scoop out all of the insides mm -hmm. and make sure to save those insides because you can use them in um, infused water, you can use them in smoothies, so you're not wasting so much. That food. is the best part, it really is. And what type of, uh, you put this, what is this called? It's It looks like tuna, but it's not really tuna. Mm -hmm. What is that? Those are chickpeas, so it's okay. chickpeas or garbanzo beans just mashed up. So it's really similar to the texture of tuna or chicken salad, but it's great for people who are vegan or plant-based and maybe don't want to have those meat all options. Oh, it smells so good and it's so colorful, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And the cool thing is, Ryan has these recipes on our website, so we're going to give you that at the end. And there's nothing more refreshing, Ryan, than a wonderful mocktail to kind of cool us down. And you believe pomegranate juice is the best option. Why? Yes, pomegranate juice is a great option in your mocktail, especially for summer because it's got this beautiful summer color to it, of course, but it also is really antioxidant rich. So I've partnered with the wonderful company to share this mocktail with you. And it's going to just be super antioxidant rich. It's going to give you so much good nutrition with these recipes. It's delicious and it's refreshing. So how do you make this? Okay, to make this, we're gonna start off with just some lemonade. Well, you'll start with ice, of course, in mm -hmm. your cup, and you'll do just a little bit of lemonade. You can use crushed ice or any mm -hmm. type of ice you want. Okay, a little bit of lemonade. A little, little bit of lemonade, and then you'll add just a splash of club soda. <laughs> <laughs> the fizzies get away from you, I love it. <laughs> That's perfect. Just so this a splash of that. Okay. And then the most important ingredient is this um, palm wonderful. I always have palm in my fridge. It is literally our go to drink in my house. Our kids love it. It tastes good and it's healthy. Yes. And you don't even necessarily know that it's healthy because it tastes so good. Absolutely. And sometimes mocktails will be made with green tea, but mm -hmm. I use the palm wonderful because it has four times more antioxidants than the green tea. Does. And you just blend it up. Oh my gosh, these are all fantastic. Do you love what you're doing. I love cooking. Yes. I love sharing healthy recipes. It's so fun. And I'm sure people share with you. Thank you mm -hmm. for being there as a dietitian and giving us these wonderful options. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you. And guess what? She has all of her recipes on her website and she brought you a special offer this morning on Sonoran Living. If you visit phxvegandietitian.com, you can schedule a free 20-minute discovery call.